So you guys should see a little red dot at the top of your screen that says we are recording now. And we are going to get started. So today's lesson is not about the elections themselves. They're about our mock election that we are doing in our um, classrooms this year. And the reason we're doing this is we wanted to participate in the election process this year, but we want to keep personal politics out of it. So while we talk about things today, please bear in mind that we might reference current situations, but we are not talking about our own beliefs, thoughts, or feelings. So today we're going to start talking like all elections start with a primary election investigation. And we are doing a mock leadership election this year. So what's the presidential primary? It's a tough question and they don't talk about it a whole lot and like the process of it, we just do it. So a presidential primary is the opportunity to take a big list of candidates or options and make it small. And we ultimately want to choose one person or one pair to represent a group of people. Historically in the United States, um, our candidates were the people with the, the two people with the most votes. So it didn't matter which party they were a part of. It was just the two people with the most votes got elected, but that is not how we do it. Our candidates, our presidential candidates pick a friend from their party I use a friend to mean someone like-minded to join them to be a team. So presidential primary, big group to small group. What's a party, Miss Ash? You keep saying it. Well, a party is a group of people with the same or similar beliefs about how something should work. In our case, our government, which is our November election. Um, and they work together to get a person that they believe in elected. In the case of our mock election, it's going to be the Disney party and the Pixar party. So how do primaries work? A primary election is a first round election. So they go to various states and visit and do speeches and have parties and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. And they do lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of commercials. So each state has a primary election that's on a specific date and they, the candidates try and convince people to vote for them. On election day, people go to a polling place and they cast their ballots, which means they make a vote. And so they could use a machine, they could write, or Iowa makes you stand in different sections of the room based on who that you wanna vote for interesting ways to vote. The winner is the candidate who moves on to the um, main election or the full scale election. So why don't we vote all at the same time? Like, why do we have primaries? Why do different states vote at different days instead of all in one day? It's to give a better chance to narrow the field. So in most cases, if we were to all vote on one day for one vote only, we would pick the thing that we know best or the candidate we know best or the name we've heard the most. And by splitting it up and having states on different days and having two elections, it gives us time to learn more about all the people involved. So we're gonna answer some questions and then I'm gonna make it make sense for our mock election. So what is a presidential primary? A a, A goes up this way, guys. A, it's when we take something small, so a small group of people and get a bigger group. B, when we take a big group and make it smaller. Or C, we just check out all the people involved. What do you guys think? A. Okay, so Mr. O'Meara is showing A, which he is saying that it's when we take a small group of people and make it bigger. 
our teachers are saying taking a big group of people and making it smaller, which is correct. So in an election, a primary election, it's when you take a lot of things and you bring it down to just a small amount. So what's a party? A, in our mock election, it's a group of people that represent different beliefs. So Disney versus Pixar. B, this rocking club event. Or C, these super cute little biscuits having um, a birthday cake with some hats on and some balloons. So what is a party in the context of an election? And I'm trying to trick you guys. All right. Good job, everyone. It is A. It's a group of people with similar or the same beliefs. Good job. So how do elections work? Is it A, pulling a name out of a bowl? B, flipping a coin? Or C, voting? See, that's right. It is voting. So we're making our choice. Why don't we vote all at the same time? A, because there's too many people. B, because we don't want a popularity contest or we don't want to just pick the person whose name we know best. Or C, there's not enough time for everybody to vote. Okay, Mr. Omir said A, our teachers are saying B, and it's technically B. We don't want to pick the person whose name we know best. So just because we've heard it a ton doesn't mean that they're the best candidate. It might also have to be a little bit of A, because I think having everybody vote in a very short time period can get very difficult, but it's B, popularity contest. So we're gonna look at this in terms of our mock election. Okay. So when we look at this for a primary election, we had a whole list of people that represent a party or that want to be chosen. So in our case, we're gonna look at the Pixar movies and there's 22 movies that we should have to pick characters from, which doesn't sound like a lot, what it really is when you consider all the characters involved. So in a primary election, we would go through and eliminate candidates that we just don't think represent our party correctly or they don't do things right. Then we get down to our final candidates for our primary election, okay? So as each state votes, they might have candidates that drop out, which is the case of our current election. So in our situation, we eliminated some as they voted through the classrooms or voted through the states to our primary election, our main primaries. So we have got it down to 12 Pixar movies to pick characters from, which still seems okay. But where it gets really interesting is when we look at Disney. So we're gonna peek at Disney. So this is where Disney movies start and we have to pick characters from a Disney movie. So I want you to look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages, nine pages, 10 pages, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So we have 32 pages of candidates or movies that we could select candidates from for Disney. 
which equates to 749 movies we would have to look through to decide who would be the best candidates. That would take such a long time. So in the purposes of primaries, we would go through and eliminate state by state or each election or each election through the states would eliminate different people. So the first state might eliminate all the action films and all the real people films and leave us with only our animated films, which takes it down to 102, which is still a lot. So we would have another state that came in and voted and they would take us down to our final options, which would be 19 movies to consider, which is a better scenario. But you guys are lucky. Your teachers went through and we considered our options. We thought about the things that would be movies or characters you would know. We thought about movies and characters we would know. And we came up with our final list of candidates for the primaries. We feel like these people or these characters best represent Disney or Pixar. So let's check them out. We have our 2020 Disney candidate, Timon and Pumbaa, with a motto of, ah, you're an outcast, that's great, so are we. So they're one group that's running for leadership. We have another 2020 Disney candidate for Moana and Maui, with a slogan of, you're welcome. Maybe they'll play their hit song on a campaign commercial. Who knows? We have a 2020 Pixar leadership candidate. And we have James P. Sullivan, otherwise known as Sully, and Mike Wazowski with a slogan of, hey, may the best monster win. Another Pixar candidate is Dory and Nemo. And they're rocking a slogan that says, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, 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 swim. No, okay. You guys are leaving me out to dry today. Our final Disney 2020 leadership candidates, Cruella and Maleficent, with a candidate of now, candidate with a slogan of now you shall deal with me, oh prince. Our final Pixar candidates for this year's mock election in leadership, Woody and Buzz from Pixar. And the slogan of reach for the sky. So we have shown you all of our candidates for our mock election. Tomorrow, Miss Connie is gonna talk about how to choose or things that you should consider um, when making a selection for your candidate that you would like to vote for. And um, she will talk about characteristics that make people good candidates or maybe candidates we might want to think about a little bit more. So tonight your homework is to think about these, think about who you think would be a good leader. Miss Connie, am I missing anything? No, she says no. No more homework than that, Omir. You got off lucky today. Okay, so we will catch you tomorrow to talk more about elections, okay? Bye. Bye, friends. Bye, Omir.